What's up, YouTube? Uh, tonight's going to be a little different. Uh, I'm not going to be playing any music or talking about vaping, or I might talk about vaping. I just wanted to talk a little bit, just vent. It's just a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, and more so for posterity for me, just to, just to record it and have it just to look back on. So you, you ever get that feeling that you don't really know where your life's going. Um, I have that feeling a lot uh, lately. So, I've always known that, you know, I, that I'm a musician at heart. Like, I've, I've always known that. I've always played music. I've always been a performer. Um, so that's pretty much the biggest reason why I came down here to Austin to try and pursue that a little bit. I've done a lot of other things as far as trying to pursue that that either were successful or were halfway successful or were completely unsuccessful for many, many reasons. Uh, I went to Berkeley in Boston and I didn't have enough money to continue to go so I had to come home so I was home for a while um, and then I got offered a job out in California. So I took the leap of faith to go out there, uh, drove 300 miles to meet up with somebody who I never met before, packed all of our stuff in a U-Haul, and drove all the way across the country from, I guess we were in Kentucky. I drove from Virginia to Kentucky, then from Kentucky to California. And uh, not to get into detail about that, but that didn't necessarily work out. So I came home and uh, stayed home for a while. Excuse me. Stayed home for a while. Um, did the whole work thing like I've always done. And, uh, you know, that's kind of allowed me to do what I'm doing now. Um, I work for Starbucks and... I uh, was finally able to uh, transfer to a store here um, because any time that I've moved around, the, the biggest uh, or the hardest thing to deal with is job security. If you come, to, if you move anywhere and you don't already have a job, it becomes pretty difficult. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm here. All that stuff aside, I'm here and I'm trying and. Um, it's just hard because, you know, I, I want to be here to be able to do, you know, to be able to perform and play music and perform to a crowd that actually wants to hear it, you know, as opposed to where I came from. Um, you know, I'm in a group now and it's, it's great. We're about to have our first show on Saturday and, you know, I'm super stoked about it. <laughs> I may not I may not sound that way right now, but I'm super stoked about it. I haven't played a gig in God knows how long, four or five years, something like that. Something ridiculous like that. Something stupid. Um, <clears throat> so I'm you know, I'm really excited about it. Um, I'll probably feel a little bit better about things maybe after I play that show, but regardless of all that, um <clears throat> I, I don't I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to live in Austin. I don't want to live so far away from my friends and my family. Um, you know, as you get older, you realize what truly matters in your life and fame and success and money. Although those weren't things that I was necessarily looking for. Um, it, those things obviously might be nice, some more than others, but <clears throat> it's not necessarily something that I was looking for. Um, but those things matter a whole lot less to you when um, the things that really matter you don't have anymore. Not that I don't have family, I don't have friends, but I can't see them. You know, I can't hang out with them, I can't spend time with them. I, 
my niece and my nephew are still really young, and if I stay down here, you know, my niece, who's not even a year old yet, um, she's not going to know who I am, you know, and the thought of that really uh, makes me think and makes me feel kind of bad. Um, I know ultimately I should be focusing on, you know, my life and where I want to go, but you know, there's people that I care about that I'm really, really far away from, and I don't like that. Um, sometimes you have to suck it up and deal with it and push through, but um, the current situation that I'm in isn't ideal. It's not terrible, but it's not ideal um, for a couple of reasons that I won't really get into at the moment as far as, you know, my living situation is concerned. Um, it's, like I said, it's difficult. It's difficult to deal with. Um, you know, on one hand, I can stay here and, and really focus on music and all of that, with, you know, being that there's no guaranteed success or real uh, future. Not that, as, I won't say that. There's no guarantee of success. So I could work and work and work and work and work and not necessarily get anywhere that will, you know, support me the way that I needed to or support, you know, a family, you know. Um, so I could do that or I have a couple options right now that would require me to move away from this environment and away from this community um, back east. And it would be, you know, with the company that I work for. Um, if I got the job that I was looking for, you know, I'd be living in basically the middle of nowhere. Um, I mean, there are places that are more in the middle of nowhere than York, Pennsylvania, but <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, York, Pennsylvania would be the middle of nowhere. Um, so it's, it's like, I, I just don't know what I should be doing. I don't know what I should focus on. I don't know what I should put my hopes in. There are a lot of things that I feel, uh, a lot of people that I think about, maybe not a lot of people, but a handful of people that I, th I think about and that I don't want to be so far away from. And, uh, you know, I I'm kind of on this, this point where I, you know, I need to make a decision pretty soon as to what I, I want to do so that I can start planning for it and make it happen. Um, you know, I'm not total. I'm not, the, the good thing is that I'm not tied down here, you know. Um, so there's that. So I could always just pick up and, and move. Um, but, like I said, it's, it's, it's difficult. You know, I want to be happy and you know, I, I, I want to use my talents, the, the talents that I've been given, you know. Um, I want to, to use them the way that they're meant to be used and to help people with them. But it's like on the one hand, you have your relationships with the people you care about. And on the other hand, you have almost in a almost in a kind of selfish way the things that you want to do and at least for me the things that I want to do take me away from those people that I care about I mean there's people that I care about here but not in the same way you know I, I do have some friends here um, most, you know mostly through work um, and my bandmates um, you know I, I care about them just as much as I care about any of my other friends it's a hard decision to make, whether to go or to stay. Um, I don't know. I don't even know that I'll upload this video. I just kind of wanted to sit here and talk. Um, I hate to say too much because I know you know some people might see this and and get certain ideas or whatever. But I mean, it's mostly for me. And if I do post it, I might, like, edit some stuff out, but...
you know there's someone that I really care about back home and uh You know, I, I want things to work out eventually, but uh, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee on anything in life, really, but I just want things to work out because it's, uh, you know, it might sound cliche, but it's just something special um, and in a way that would take a really long time for me to explain to you guys, so um, I won't explain it. Um, it's different and it, and it's special and it means a lot to me and even when I wasn't talking to this person um, you know I always felt like they were sitting here right with me the entire time um, you know because I have such a deep connection with this person a spiritual connection with this person that uh, that you can't just turn off it's not a it, there's no light switch there's no on and off button it uh it just it's there and and I can't make it go away and for me there there has to be some reasoning behind that you know there's a, a reason why a lot of things are the way that they are and why a lot of things happen the way they do and uh, you know I can't overlook that and um, it's just difficult because a lot of my life is spent testing my patience level and testing what my true desires are and uh, testing what I want to do with my life and where I want to go and um, for me right now a lot of these things are all interconnected and that's what makes it so difficult is that if I do one thing it changes the variables and the chances of me being able to to do the other thing and the same with the other way around so I need to do a whole lot of soul searching, I guess, and figure out what's really, truly important to me. I know what's really, truly important to me, but it's a lot, you know. It's, it's both sides of the coin that I really want, and you can't always have everything. I understand that, but, you know, and then again, a lot of people have told me that, oh, you know, you need to follow your dream and like you need to do what you need what you need and want to do and when you're on the right path you know whoever it is that that you're supposed to be with will find you on that path um, so a lot of people would encourage me to stay here but you know I I, I see some holes in, in that logic I see some some inconsistencies um or some gray areas rather you know obviously Austin's not the only place you can play music but it's a really fun place to play music there's a lot of people here which again makes it a little difficult because there's a lot of competition there's a lot of other people playing here um, so on one hand obviously Northern Virginia is a terrible place to be in a band and to play music because really nobody gives a shit unless you're Jimmy Buffett or fucking some other shit like that, you know. So, obviously that's not an option. I can't live in Northern Virginia necessarily anymore, but I don't necessarily want to live here. This summer was ridiculous. This summer, it was 110 plus the entire time. Plus humidity. All summer long. All fucking six months of it it seemed six months six seven months of fucking summertime you know it's halfway th we're halfway through November right now and it's still like 80 degrees fucking trees are still green this is I've never experienced this over a long period of time and I can't live in a place where there aren't seasons that's it's just not gonna work so I need to figure something else out. I don't want to say that I'm lonely, because I'm not necessarily lonely. I have, I go to work every day, you know, and there's lots, I see lots of people every day. Um, I don't live by myself. Um, I have a band, you know, seven people. But even with all that, like, I still feel lonely because. 
there's those very few people in my life that I care the most about and that I want to be around and be with. And I'm 1,500 miles away from them. And it hurts. And um, I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I don't want to jeopardize anything on either side, but something has to change. I, I can't keep this up anymore.